guys, welcome to me reacting to The Greatest Mysteries of Gaming by Scott the Waz. Now, I have not seen this, but I'm guessing this is going to go based on The Greatest Mysteries of Gaming, you know, based on the title. But at the same time, I don't really know what this is going to be about. Like, maybe these mysteries have to do with, you know, crazy stories. Like, there was that one game thing, poly, Polygon, or something like that, like, that basically gave kids, like, you know, <laughs> mental breakdowns or something like that, I don't, I don't know, but that's, that's what I heard of, but yeah, anyways, guys, urging to in the description, make subscribe to Scott the Waz, and so it's in the description, anyways, let's get right into it. Ooh, hey, yo, Scott, you're quick, what's the first thing you think of when you think mysterious? Mysteries, right. There are so many questions left, well, left unanswered, like, what's the point? Why bother? And who cares? That's why I'm scouring the closet for the <laughs> gaming's greatest mysteries. Like, Those are some... Luigi say f***ing Mario Golf? Alright, we have the answer to the <laughs> Alright, that's, that's a good one. Oh, hey, that's a good one. Hey, check this out. It's my first fan art of Madden. Okay, and... Um, <laughs> yeah, I got invited Just to a Madden. by Chet Chef. That's a good gag. He used to be my manager when I worked at games on Just his Madden show. Just Madden so generic. I slash ran the store out of business. I think I put this with all the other letters I don't want to deal with. You have been cordially invited to a dinner party celebrating oh. us all making it this far in life. Oh, is this going to be a murder mystery yeah, theme? I swear, if this is a murder mystery plot mixed so with a review, that's going to be friends. sick. But this dinner party seems to be an apology for lashing out at me. You think you know how to run a business? I know a guy with a NASA shirt, okay? Oh, yeah. I I've earned this job. <laughs> the lack of drama. I should probably stop by for just a bit. Now, under normal circumstances, that means no stupid Nintendo game talk. I'm gonna be a little too busy at the dinner party. But, I thought ahead. What? I pre-recorded myself talking about gaming mysteries. Hey all, Scott here. Oh my god, I sound like that? As a player of all things <laughs> video games, I think really? it's to say, I just right, that's kind of funny. Mysteries are what keeps humanity at the edge of their seats. That's a good game. It's absolutely terrifying knowing you don't know something. He is really funny, this monster though. real, or was it just a fist? But with video games, these things can be so complex and have such lengthy histories to them that either some things are just left See, yeah, are these like, you know, arise. gaming theories or something from, like that? Can you jump the flagpole yeah. in Super Mario Brothers to, is Luigi f***ing dead? One of the most notorious urban legends Oh yeah, games, so these are basically gaming theories. Super Mario 64 and Luigi in that game, and it wasn't whether he said f*** or not because this isn't Mario Golf. He wasn't even there. See, up until Mario 64, oh, yeah. we've had a pretty good ratio of games with Luigi to games without Luigi. He was playable in all the mainline Marios prior to 64, and then priority shifted and Luigi wasn't playable. He didn't appear in the game whatsoever, not even mentioned. Yeah, that is a little weird like a why he didn't. Wild, and I still have my picket sign from the protests. Why wasn't Luigi in Mario 64? Was he just that well hidden in the game? Well, ever since the game launched, many fans noticed this sign in the courtyard of Peach's castle. Now, under normal circumstances, it's gibberish, but when we slide the virgin gogs on, we can make out that it potentially what? says L is real 2401. Now, what does that mean? No sex for me, thanks. Many took this as a hint. <laughs> that Luigi was real, right? And he was All right, I'm going to pause it there. That's a really good joke. That's a really good joke. <laughs> well, it means no sex. That's good. That's a really good joke. In Mario 64, after all. So let's dissect this phrase. L is real 2401. Right. Well, Luigi is real, and the only thing in Mario 64 with a number that okay. high. So I'm guessing he's just gonna dissect the game. mysteries. After of all, each you get a game. star for collecting 100 coins in each level. That lends credibility to the fact there could be a reward for collecting every single coin in the whole game, and that reward would be related to the letter L. Problem is, there isn't 2,401 coins in Mario 64, so that's a problem. And as a bonus, collecting them oh. all doesn't do anything. However, we can look into this even harder. L is real 2401 may just correlate to Paper Mario's release on the Nintendo 64. Luigi was real in that game, I saw him. And 2401 <laughs> was the release date in North America. Kinda. So it didn't release on February 4th, 2001, it released on February 5th, 2001. Well, if this theory Oof. holds any truth, then Nintendo knew what the general release date of Paper Mario was going to be back when Super Mario 64 released. That terrifies me. Why were they planning that far ahead? What were their goals? So, why is L real 2 for Yeah, you? wait, hold on. That is a little Frankly, creepy. this black is so blurry that you can come up with various other phrases it may look like. It's one of those things where since a lot of people were told it reads L is real 2401, that's what a lot of people see. I don't know what the Aka Room people's deal is. Luigi was playing for Mario 64 <laughs> in uh, the multiplayer mode, 
but was pushed off to the side. He was playable in the remake Super Mario 64 DS though. All of life's problems are solved when a character is playable in Mario 64 DS. Now, a lot of mysteries within gaming can be classified under conspiracy theories. Like, oh, uh, is that Majora's Mask? Of Zelda, Majora's Mask. That, no. I, that, I've heard that's a really good one. I chose believing the less supported one. Majora's Mask is one dark Zelda title, and most dads would not let their daughters date this game. It's creepy, it's depressing, and many have discovered how the story of the game correlates with death, what happens before and after death, dealing with death, and many have theorized that Link himself was dead and the entire game is basically his afterlife. There are lots of theories like this in games, some of which have turned out to be true, like how Super Mario Bros. 3 was supposed to be a play. You see how it opens up with a curtain rising, various platforms cast a shadow and have bolts on them like they were constructed as part of a set. Whenever a level ends, it's almost as if Mario was running off stage. This was a fan oh, for the longest time until it was actually really? by Shigeru Miyamoto. That's now, actually a real thing? Play, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's a cool idea. Who wrote this? <laughs> Who wrote? Oh my god. Oh, hey y'all. Scott Wozniak. Dinner partier here. Jeb Jeb. Vegan. Terry Lessler. Veganer. I'm so okay. Stable. I'm gonna pause it here and say that I'm guessing this is gonna... That is kinda cool. So I'm guessing this is gonna sort of transition into a murder mystery maybe? Maybe? I don't... I don't know. But this was actually uploaded literally like a year ago. And around the time Halloween was, so... Yeah, this could be a murder mystery, and that's totally fine. Honestly, I really enjoy murder mysteries, so I'm hoping it is, to be honest. Because I think the idea of mixing a murder mystery with a review is a really good idea, personally. Just a supporter. Rex Mose, school dance chaperone and historian. Wendy's employee, Wendy's employee. Oh, so how do you all know? <laughs> he was a former what? man, and he bought milk. What? That son of a... I pulled him over for money laundering. <laughs> I'm chaperoning his dinner party. He stole a Baconator. That son of a... I take the story <laughs> and convince me you just replayed the same clip. Now I'm living off of unemployment checks in fear. Hi, Chet Chat, former games on a shelf manager, current doer of all things. Oh, this is going to be a murder Welcome mystery, I'm betting. Chet Chat Family Estate's first annual dinner party. My largest priority at the moment. Due to some prior obligations, I can't be there with you tonight. But please, feel free to help yourself to an old Shaft family recipe. This is Jimmy John's. But then we go from theories <laughs> to just the unexpected Jimmy parts Jones. of games that were just never understood and remained elusive for so long. In GoldenEye 007, on the very first level, players noticed a building in the distance. You can just barely see it, and rumors floated around about being able to grab a boat and make your way over there, potentially getting some rewards. What? But no, this area really is more anything. or less placed there for show. While the developer's original intent was exactly what fans speculated, it was scrapped and just kept there as a scene setter. If that island didn't oh. exist, the immersion would crumble. Everybody has their happy place. They wouldn't make the t-shirt <laughs> if that wasn't the case. And mine is Shiverburn Galaxy what? and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Hey, it's such yeah. a fun level. There's Super fire Mario Galaxy is such a good game. Sometimes I like to hit up to go into first person view and look up at the mountains. Everybody has their happy place, and mine is Fleet Glide Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> Figures yeah, what the heck? Shiverburn Galaxy, if you look up in first person, three beings That's just weird. looking at you throughout the entire level. I've actually it never seen where that. where you are, as long as you can look up at the mountains, they'll be there watching you. Now in Super Mario 3D Land, at the end of World 4-4, if you wait around, someone or something will fade in and fade out. Shiverburn Galaxy, I can sort of see these guys as a weird little thing accidentally getting thrown into the game. You know, they're inkblot tests. In 3D Land, this was a completely deliberate addition where one of the developers said... I want to make some kids sh themselves. <laughs> yeah, kind of true. You're right. He's kind of right there. of the dinner party tonight. Terry Lessler and Jet, thank you for your strong acts of veganism. Carrots wouldn't be the same without you. Rick Mose, without you, I wouldn't be an alcoholic. It's Rex. <laughs> Officer Steel Wool. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you for your years of service. And Scott. Without you, I wouldn't have lost my job at Games on a Shelf. Thank you, everybody. Please, help yourself to a complimentary table knife and dig in. Oh, I was right, I was right. It is, it is, it is. <gasps> what? He's dead. Alright. <laughs> Alright, bravo, bravo. Gotta love that, gotta love that. That is hilarious. The fact that the TV falls over and then he's dead in the TV, that...
brilliant. That's brilliant. That that is a great way to make fun of murder mysteries. That's good. That's good. Honestly, that is really funny. That is really funny. Not one to leave the party early, but when people start getting murdered, that's where I draw the line. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can you pick that up on the way home? No, okay, we can leave. Okay, Chet said the party's over at 9. He's f***ing dead. We at least owe him this. I'll stay. I'm free. Listen, we can get the murder stench out of here by listening to some good old-fashioned video game mysteries. Yeah, of course. Let's talk a series with just as many mysteries as it has dead <laughs> What? Somebody f***ing died! Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That's a little bit of something <laughs> for everybody. Gunplay, driving, not Bigfoot. The existence of oh, Bigfoot Grand in San Andreas Auto. has always been a huge rumor. Apparently, within the forest, you could find Bigfoot lurking around. This is also a game where ghost cars can chase after you. A developer on the game stated that Bigfoot what? was in there at one point, but he was told to take it out for the final release. However, there's supposedly a 10% chance of seeing Bigfoot. There's also no Bigfoot model in the game's code, so I don't know about this one. Alright, so we all hate it. Check. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a born-again carnivore. He's led many to unemployment. He's money laundered, he's wronged all of us. Who's to say one of us isn't the killer? That's right. If we can't leave, we might as well find bum, out who bum, the bum, bum, bum. It's Among Us. I love puzzles. Just, Guys, among listen, us. one of us this may be among us before we're among all us. human at the end of the day. Let's just listen to some gaming mysteries about Luigi and call it a night. Wasn't that the guy who said f***ing Mario Golf? Luigi's Mansion. F***ing scary, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a box art to piss myself too. All right. There are a few parts of the game that have some He's kind sinister of using and that implications. Much, but... Like, that is what you call a dead baby. But there was one part in the third area of the game. True. After a bolt of lightning strikes, we can see Luigi's oh, yeah. hanging in the air. Yeah, isn't it like... That Luigi isn't it like he's hanging? No, was this yeah, a I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Was it a glitch due to the game's camera being at an angle? It's not usually used. I think it is a glitch, the but the shadow up higher than usual. Huh. This is great. It's like a murder mystery with the murder and the mystery. You're taking this pretty well, man. Who's to say you're not the killer? You're acting pretty carefree right now for someone who's life sake. <laughs> it's a murder, not a tax audit. We'll be fine. Well, what about the Wendy's employee? Nobody what? ever suspects the Wendy's employee. Well, what about Steel Wool? He has a gun. Okay, that's a knife. Yeah, for fun, not for murder. <laughs> Guys, deep down, we can all be a murderer. He's stabbed. Want. So let's just get down to the bottom of this by a show of hands. Don't stab people by the way. <laughs> Damn it. Some mysteries aren't too sinister, <laughs> and we're just unknown aspects of games, like <laughs> jumping the flagpole. That was actually brothers. funny. I mean, when I played this game, <laughs> I would sometimes think, "I'm gonna do it," and guess what? I've never been able to live that down. This game is engineered to make it hard to jump over the flagpole. I mean, it makes sense. What does anybody gain from Oh, that? jump now, over it. The level where you can do that is 3-3. Three, three. With these platforms, it's more than possible to waste an afternoon. But the one people were always wondering about was World 1-1, one, one, the very first level. Is it possible? Yes, it is. F*** you, Nintendo. It's all due to a glitch here. We gotta stand on this block here and wait for the Koopa Troopa to fall down the hole. Jumping up here at the right moment will hit him. And then he'll come back and we have to follow him to the end of the level while grabbing a mushroom. Then we jump at the right moment to what? jump off of him to get over the flagpole. There are lots of glitches that have their own mystery behind them. Like with Pokemon... Oh, Mario yeah, Mario, that Pokemon one. Missing No. Which hey, is Missing, missing no. no. Yeah. It's a glitch where the game basically has no idea what Pokemon should appear, but it's kind of taken on a life of its own. People refer to Missing No as if it's an actual Pokemon when it's just a jumble of code. Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, true. Daisy trophy has a third eye on the back of her head. I mean, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not surprised. Listen, maybe oh. the murderer isn't one of us. Maybe the murderer's hiding somewhere in the building. We should split up into groups that way. That's some Pokemon music murdered. in the back. I like it. Feeling lucky tonight. Okay, so if any of you die, you have to tell me, okay? Wait, look! It looks like whoever the killer is had dark hair. Oh, good, that narrowed it down a bit. Final Fantasy VII features the death of <laughs> Aerith. However, many rumors floated around about Wait, being able what? to stop that from happening and keep her in your party. You cannot. A lot of these mysteries are formed by what fans want to see, or what the game says and just never elaborates on. Street Fighter 2 reuses oh. the infamous phrase, you must defeat Shang Long to stand a chance. Now I'm sure the localization team at the time said, oh yeah, people will like this, it really makes Ryu seem determined to win. When in reality, everybody said, who the fuck is Shang Long? It was a mistranslation of Ryu stating, if you cannot overcome the Shoryuken, you cannot win. There was a lot of mystery surrounding who Shang Long was for the longest time, with the magazine even refusing oh! to put out the flames. They were well known for their April Fool's hoaxes, and one of them happened to be details on how to find Shang Long and some background to the character. Capcom themselves have joked about the character, fake announcing him for Street Fighter 4, and similarly, the original Mortal Kombat oh, had some okay. extra code, Ermax, and many thought Ermac was a secret character. They added him eventually. Oh, okay. That's, I guess that's kind of cool. We're all alone. We're all 
friends here. Who the f are you? We're just gonna cut to the chase. Were you the murderer? The only thing I kill is not abstinence. So it's possible you killed him. That's impossible. I hate murder. So do I. But you don't see me bragging about it. You know, that's it. I've had it. Good luck not murdering people. Murderers. Oh, the flashing light. I cannot see a thing. It's really dark. But I guess that's Tomb Raider was infamous for the. I guess that's a new made so that way you can't see who it is, which I guess character Laura is better than doing. Wait, well, actually, you know, I'm gonna pause it there. I, I probably should say what I'm gonna say, but yeah, like I think it is a good idea that it's very dark, so that way you don't see who it is, because it's better than just having the person say, oh, "It's you. I knew it was you. like, it was you all along." Like that cliche where it's like, "It was you." Like looking at the camera, like acting like, "Oh, the camera's like their view," trying to like. You know, basically that way, like, of hiding who it is. Like, it was you all along. The person I can't say the name of because it obvious. like... And, I mean, yeah, obviously some people have made fun of it. But I'm kind of glad that he didn't, you know, do that or make fun of it. Because, yeah, I feel like it's done before. It's been done before. Players 13 and up. Yeah, that just... That just doesn't work. Lara Croft was a sex symbol in gaming, and the idea of a PlayStation 1 character naked, well, who doesn't like that? The developers always teased fans about the code, making it obvious that it was very unlikely it actually existed, but never fully denying its existence either, obviously to keep people desperately wondering. It was later confirmed that a nude code never existed. Yeah, I know I might get merged tonight, but I don't care. Who the f ever thought this was real? Oh, okay. I died. That makes sense. <laughs> He actually yelled, I died! Well, That's yeah. funny. That's you really funny. Shed, but peer pressure Jim into death. What? It was like that when I got here. Sonic CD features <laughs> a sound test option after inputting a code. When the, we're at the sound what test, was we that? The, the whole music video just glitched on me. Specific options and hit start. That's also kind of funny, it cut away from that to this. I just wanted to listen to music. This screen is infamous and incredibly bizarre. We have 24 Sonics oh, with yeah. a human face. I, Somebody wanted too. this. Now, of course, with the mustache, it's oh, obvious yeah. this is supposed to be Sonic fused with Mario. The Japanese text translates to Fun is Infinite, Sega Enterprises, image by Majin. Now, Majin apparently means the devil. I knew something was up with this game. In actuality, Majin refers to Masato Nishimura as Majin was his childhood nickname. So it's fine. The screen is fine. I mean, it's not like the screen is going to kill me at a dinner party or anything, so it's fine. It's a common saying. The Legend of Zelda linked to the past's biggest yep. <laughs> people. <laughs> I was just going to say, I'm like, wait, what? Like, like, that's so convenient. Contest. You can get to also, it in a few different ways. And I'm going to pause here. Sorry for pausing, but I like the fact that they're also like listening to it on a jukebox. And they can also like cut back. It, honestly, this is a really good video. This is really funny. I really enjoy it. It's it's really good. It's just filled with groupies. Yeah, that's cool or whatever. I want to see him in Smash Brothers as much as the next guy. But what about a secret that's not only in a Zelda game, but numerous other Nintendo games as well? Totaka's song is a little ditty normally hidden in games composed by Kazumi Totaka. Luigi's Mansion, Mario Paint, Link's Awakening, Yoshi's Story, Mario Land 2. It's hidden in so many games. But there are a few games Totaka Wait, has worked on where it still hasn't been found. Many have thought the sound of the tennis ball hitting the racket in Wii Sports was Totaka's song. If you play each hit together, it may sound like it, but that may be due to your brain telling you to think it's playing Totaka's song. Weirdly enough, a gaming stream Wait, directed what? Wii Music apparently doesn't have Totaka's song in there at all. I mean, it may be hiding in there, but I think we know everything Wii Music ever had to say. It has nothing to hide. Pretty cool, right? True. Oh, Terry's dead. Great. What? Four when was there an elevator? More addictive than reading actual mysteries about video games. <laughs> I also love how it just <laughs> abruptly cuts mysteries back. about video games. The creepy pasta is big here on the internet. It's all about using one of these to scare the fuck out of some kids. These are internet scary stories, and lots of them have to do. Oh with yeah, videos. like Hero Brian and all those. Yeah, yeah like the fake ones. Game, and it's haunted. There's disturbing imagery and weird things happening while. Ah yeah, that that what one. What the hell are these ghost priorities? All right, we should just call the police already. He, uh, <laughs> he is a trooper. Yeah, I'm getting real tired of trying to figure out who the murderer is. If somebody just wants to step up and be the murderer so we can all go home, I'm all for it. All right, Scott, steal wolf. 
Rex, you're dead. But while creepy pastas are fake mysteries about video games, oh, he's dead. Real life mysteries about video games. That sucks. In 2007, Madden 08 released to the masses, but weirdly enough, it got prequels each year prior. Madden 1999 released and was the first one to do so without Uncle Madden on the cover. <laughs> no, no, no. This one featured an athlete, and it's been a tradition for almost every athlete who made the Madden cover to soon after get injured. This is the Madden. Oh yeah, I heard about this enough, one. It'll get us too. And it's Madden still on going on. Injuries. Maybe there's a gas leak or something. Maybe that's why everybody It's died. still going on. Yeah, which Thanks, is I weird. Was talking. What? No oh, shit, it was you. you! Take off your mask. Who are you? Uh <laughs> I never would have guessed. It's time you leave your head. Getting murdered is the least of my concerns right that's now. That's a fake why gun, by the way. It's not a real gun. It. He wandered. I was too shy to mention that I was the one that killed him. So I find it'd be easier to kill everyone. Really? Five homicides and that's your reason? What? That's six. What? <laughs> oh damn, this is some intense action. The mad thing. Oh my fuck! Solved the mystery. <laughs> That's funny. I have seen a lot of murders in my day, and all six. No, <laughs> you did. <laughs> the guys are all getting treated for murder at the hospital. They should all be fine. I'm pretty happy nothing happened to me though. I have jury duty tomorrow. <laughs> You're getting treated. I can't die. If I don't show up, I'll go to prison. <laughs> all right. Honestly, this was. This was really good. This was a really funny one. Honestly, this was a really good video. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I. Yeah, this was really good. I really enjoyed Scott the Waz. Honestly, if you guys want me to react to more Scott the Waz, then I'll totally do that. Honestly, this was really enjoyable. I really liked it. But yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Wait, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to end it this quick. Why would I do that? That's so stupid. But yeah, to be honest, my opinion on this video is it's really good because I like the idea of the fact that you know, you have the review, but then you also have the murder mystery. Like, because I've seen, like, you know, nostalgia critic videos where, like, the review is, you know, connected sort of with the plot. But, like, I kind of find it a little bit funny how, like, the review literally has, like, no bearing on the plot whatsoever. And the fact that, you know, they just cut back and forth between them. Like, I, I love the fact where it's like, oh, yeah, like, you know... Uh, where he's like, hopefully that, you know, it can't murder me at a dinner party. And then he, it cuts back to him like, what? It's just a saying. Like, that's really funny. Like, honestly, that's, it's really good. It is really funny and really clever, honestly. The jokes made me laugh. They, really good. The editing was really good. I really enjoyed it, honestly. The acting was really good, like, from every single character. Like, all the characters were actually pretty memorable, honestly. I, I really did enjoy it, honestly. This was... A really good video. I really loved it. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm Julie. Like me, subscribe my channel. See you in the next one. Bye.